jumps on the shoulders, there goes another leg. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Demo Goblin Build-A-Figure Waves Vulture. Trying to get your Marvel Legends? You can do so at Megalopolis, City, City of Collectibles. Where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out, link in the description below. Oh, finally, we have a Vulture from Hasbro. Got a big old complaint about it. I'm looking at it right now. Do you see the gripe? Can you guess the gripe? I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, I am stoked about this figure. On the side, you get a nice image of Vulture right there. On the back, you can see a product shot. There is a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the Wave. And on the side, you can see the Vulture again. And then you get a spot varnished spider logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the brand new Vulture figure out of the packaging. And I like what I'm looking at over here. I am really happy to have this new Vulture figure in my collection. There are some things here that Hasbro has done that I am very impressed with. However, there are some disappointing things uh, like those lines, which we'll get into more in a little bit. But first, let's get a closer look. So aside from the Build-A-Figure head sculpt, we get these two additional head sculpts for the figure along with these wings. I'm going to show off the heads in a second, but I just wanted to talk about the wings first because I actually think these are very cool looking. I really like them a lot. So the smooth side is going to go on to the inside of the figure and then this layered section is going to be for the outside. Uh, there's also a hint of an indicator on these. You can see a little bit of an R right there on that side. I don't know if I'm in. I'm seeing a hint of an L on this side. But anyway, uh, it does look best like this and I really like the fade. That looks really cool with the green fading. So the paint looks really good on this. Same thing on the outside of the wings right here. You also get these secondary pieces for the bicep. I think those look really good. Not as much paint on the back, or on the inside anyway. And there's a hint of an indicator of an R right there. And you're not, eh, maybe like a hint of an L on this side, but there you go. So to go ahead and apply these, I'm gonna take your temporarily headless tombs right over here, and you get ports right here. So it doesn't actually port into the bicep, but into the shoulder for the small piece, and then you get the forearm piece right there. So we're just gonna plug into the forearm piece, and then take this shoulder piece that pegs right in right there. And that works pretty well, as long as you don't take it right out. So that's really neat, just to demonstrate on this side. Uh, let's see if we go the other way with this being ported in first. And I love how it contours to the sculpt of the arm right there. And then you can go ahead and port this one in right there. And there you go. These wings look awesome. I really do like them a lot. They're very cool. <laughs> So here's our classic Vulture head sculpt, Adrian Toomes. And one thing I really like about Vulture from the MCU is that, you know, even though there's a lot of details that have changed around the character, the core motive behind this villain is the same. Essentially, Vulture loses his job in the comics, and that's what turns him to evil. Same thing in the MCU. Michael Keaton Vulture turns to evil due to losing his job. Now, this Vulture head sculpt looks awesome. I really love this a lot. I love these livers spots right over here on the top i like how creepy he looks and everything that smile and all the wrinkles and he's got you know a lot of this pinkish purple color around his eyes you get the gray hair on the big old eyebrows right there his bald head looks really good i just knocked over a wing but i like the skin tone and everything on this this is a great head sculpt i really like it now i do want to compare it to the toy biz version uh which generally you know the toy biz versions always look a lot more rugged and grimy looking, which I think is appropriate for this elderly character. And you can see that he has a lot more of an aquiline nose on this version right here compared to this one, but still eh, pretty sharp and pointy, you know. But I really like this older head sculpt too. I like them both, to be honest with you. So we get an alternate head with the blacky helmet on here. Yeah, there that goes. And this looks pretty good too. I just wish that they made it a blacky head sculpt. So they use the Adrian Tombs with the blacky helmet. So at one point, the Tombs Vulture is in prison. And then he's actually able to get help from Craven. To get Blackie to get him out of prison and everything, and he has a second set of wings and a second suit, and Blackie actually constructs this helmet right over here. And the helmet actually has an electronic receiver in there, and it helps with protection, and apparently it's supposed to make him look scary. But I do like how this came out. I love the sculpted lines. Oop, knocked over another wing. But yeah, I love the lines sculpted in there. I really wish that we got that throughout the rest of the figure. So I dig that a lot. I think Torm... 
I do think Tombs wore this at one point, but whenever I see this helmet, I think of Blackie Drago. So a little disappointed that they didn't make it a Blackie Drago head sculpt. I'm probably going to still fake it as a Blackie head Drago head sculpt. I don't know. But looking at the little fur cuff right over here, the collar, it looks awesome. I love how it's all shifted over to the side, so it kind of looks like he's flying in the wind. And I really like the sculpt of this right here on the back as well. That looks really cool. Very happy with that. Unfortunately, uh, we are not getting sculpted lines throughout on this figure. We just get this decoed uh, line work right over here put onto this figure. And it's just very frustrating that we don't get that. Uh, I wish we could get a whole new sculpt on each figure. But it's just not happening right here. So I'm very frustrated with that. And when you tilt the ab crunch back, you can see the line work just disappears. That's not cool. And then on the rest of the figure, it's kind of just stops after you know around here so we don't get anything like that on the legs at all these are spider-man legs by the way which i think is kind of funny he has the peg holes right there here's looking on the back and you can see he still has that peg hole right over there from the spider-man body mold but we do get the brand new shoulders and arms right over here of course so uh, he does have this huge hand another gripe i have is that he has monster sized hands dude these are huge freaking hands why has he got such big old hands Wow, I don't know what if these came from a different figure. They probably did. Can't think of it right off the top of my head. But yeah, we get fingernails sculpted in there and everything. These are probably used on Magneto or something. I don't know. But yeah, uh, really big hands right over here. Now to go over the head articulation really quick with the blacky helmet sculpt on here. You can't move the head upwards just that far. That doesn't look too bad. It will move down. You get side to side motion and some head tilting right there. But to show it with the tombs head sculpt, for some reason it looks like you can get the tombs head to look back even more so. I guess they're both tombs head sculpts. But yeah, that looks back more so. And then you do get downward motion right here. You can turn the head side to side and you do get great head pivoting. These wings will pop off on you, man. That's it's just a gripe I have, so it's going to happen. But anyway, you do get butterfly joints right here, so you can move the shoulders in and out. And you can move the shoulders upward very far. They will move down all the way. You get full rotation at 360 right there. You get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. This will break up over here, so I don't know. If you don't want that split around like that, you can bend in that much without it coming apart. So anyway, you get wrists that turn side to side and hinge up and down. He has ab crunch forward you kind of really have to push that ab crunch forward and i lost a wing and it will go back you really have to push for that too you get a waist swivel then the hips move outward just that far he'll kick forward that much back upper thigh cut double jointed knees and then ankles move down up and beautiful ankle pivot now to measure out this vulture figure you can see that he is standing just barely under the six and a half inch mark and to get a measurement on the wingspan you can see it's at about 13 inches across just a little over 13 inches now i think this would be a good versus video the hasbro classic vulture versus the Toy Biz Classic Vulture. Both very good Vulture figures. I do have a broken one, though. I broke the left shoulder, as many people have done, so I need to get that fixed. Gotta send it out to Bill Maru. But yeah, I do like this new one as well. Uh, the fact that I can play with it without it being broken or playing with it without fear, you know what I mean? That makes me happy, you know? So I'm really happy to have this newer version. We've wanted a newer version for a long time. Just want to show off the wings right over here, though. We do get beautiful sculpt and paint in these older Toy Biz wings. Uh, but I do like this one as well. These are definitely a bit larger and look like they're going to be reused for Falcon, right? I mean, we're going to get a classic Falcon from Hasbro very soon. So stay tuned for that. Called it Shardimus Prime 2020. And then we have our new classic Vulture figure next to Hasbro's Ultimate Vulture from the 2-pack. And you can swap the heads on these. You know, I don't really see why you'd want to unless, you know, maybe he sucked some uh, youth from Spider-Man or something. You want to make him look a little bit younger. You could do that if you would like. But yeah, it's cool that we have a more classic Vulture finally. I'm so happy. And then here's our new classic Vulture figure next to our Vulture from the MCU. And I really love the design on this. We have a whole bunch of green on it. And then you still get the whole fuzzy collar or the furry feathery collar right over there and he has a helmet kind of like how vulture did in the comics right i can't remember if tombs wore the helmet or not someone let me know in the comments section below and here's vulture next to the rest of our classic sinister six figures from hasbro we have the two-pack craven figure we have doc ock the sandman build a figure and mysterio uh, we just need a classic electro yeah we have this version right over here which i still like and i have on my display but it's not the classic electro figure so i did 
did use them in the display, but yeah, I would like to have a classic Electro from Hasbro. That would be very nice. And then here's our new classic Vulture next to the Marvel Legends Pizza Spidey. And you can see a lot of reused parts over here. I don't know. Am I the only one who gets frustrated with that? I kind of don't like it when the hero's nemesis has the same body parts, right? I don't know. It just kind of weirds me out just a little bit. But, you know, there is still new stuff going on over here. And then here's the classic Vulture figure next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. No! Stranger danger! A creepy old man with big grabby hands over there! Get, get away! Hey, really cool looking wings! Oh! I was just gonna say they're badass. <laughs> so is everything perfect about this figure? Absolutely not. I miss the line work. I really like that about the suit. I don't know why. I just thought it was a cool feature and we don't have it on this figure. That's my biggest gripe amongst some other things, but for the most part, I'm really happy with it. I had a lot of fun taking pictures of it. I got lost in the action figure abyss and that's always a great sign for a figure. When I get stuck taking pics and I'm like just going and going, taking pictures and thinking of new ideas and everything, well then I'm having a great time with the figure, so I gotta say man, at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks, I'm giving this Vulture figure a sud rating of, I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below, hit the like button if you like this video, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already, and a big thank you to all these people over here that are helping me pay off this expensive ass camera that I'm using to make these videos, so I really appreciate it you guys, if you're interested in chipping in go ahead and check out the patreon account i have all kinds of perks over there as well if you want to see the latest in marvel news be sure to check out marvelousnews.com and don't forget to follow me on the instagram twitter and twitch and i'll catch you guys later peace and, uh, posing action figures i'm posing action figures i'm posing action figures every day i'm posing action figures i'm posing action figures i'm posing action figures it's okay Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.